Hey friends, and welcome back to our channel. Do you wanna know whether or not Logan is a good place to plan a trip? Is it a good place to live, work, and most importantly, play? Today, we're going to explore the top 10 activities you can plan if you're looking for a vacation or a staycation in Logan, Utah. And it isn't going to have anything to do with skiing, so stay tuned. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living, eating, sleeping, working, and playing in Northern Utah, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Northern Utah. We are Sloan and Kim Peterson with the Peterson Group. We've been in the real estate business for 10 years and every day we help people just like you looking to buy, sell, and invest in Northern Utah and we absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to buy in nine days or 90 days, Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All the information is in the description below so we can help you make that smooth transition to Northern Utah and cities like Logan. Okay, so jumping right in, you can visit Utah State University. Explore the beautiful campus of Utah State University, home to stunning architecture, world-class research facilities, and botanical gardens. Now I know, visiting a university doesn't sound fun, right? but oftentimes you can visit the university's museums and gardens at a much lower price than private museums or cultural attractions, and most universities have them. In fact, Utah State University is home to the Nora Eccles Harrison Museum of Art, which is actually free and open to the public. Right now, one of the exhibitions going is called Unearthed, a ceramics collection featuring 1,500 ceramics that highlight both recognized and underrecognized artists, women artists, influential women ceramics educators, and Native American ceramicists with the intention of providing revised historiography of ceramics in the Western United States. So whether you're taking a vacation or a staycation, don't sleep on visiting local universities, which have some of the greatest art museums available. All right, so number two is Gosner's Foods. Okay, so Gosner's Foods has a really interesting history that dates way back, and you can find the entire story on their website, but it was founded by Edward Gosner, who was from Switzerland, where he learned how to become a master cheesemaker. Now, Gosner's was incorporated in 1966, and at the time, he started out as a small 40-acre plant. Today, it is one of the largest producers of Swiss cheese in the country, and it's still family owned by the Gosner family. Now, the fun part about visiting Gosner's is that they do have a local store next to the plant where you can try samples, purchase various cheeses, and have some of the best ice cream you've ever tasted. If you're in the area and a cheese lover, it's definitely worth a stop, but come hungry because you're definitely going to leave with your stomach full. Okay, so coming in at number three is the Logan Canyon Scenic Drive. Take a drive through Logan Canyon, which features beautiful vistas, hiking trails, and opportunities for fishing, kayaking, and other outdoor activities. Logan Canyon definitely is one of the prettiest canyon drives I've ever been on, and if you can hit it in the fall, then in my opinion, that's the best time. In our Logan vlog, you can check out here. We stopped at First Dam, which is right off the base of the canyon, but there's so much to check out along the way. There's Second Dam, which has a great picnic area, all kinds of hiking trails, and even a couple of caves to explore. So if you are going to take a drive up the canyon, definitely make extra time to stop and enjoy a picnic or go for a little hike. And number four is going to be the American West Heritage Center. It's a living history museum that showcases life in the American West during the 19th century. They focus on what it was like to live in the surrounding culture of Cache Valley from the 1820s to 1920s. And it's made to be both educational and entertaining. They even do story times, summer camps, and baby animal days, so it's a fun way to spend the day, whether you're a kid or a big kid like we are. Okay, and so the next thing you have to check out if you're doing a vacation or a staycation in Logan is the Ellen Eccles Theater. Catch a performance at the historic Ellen Eccles Theater, which hosts a variety of events including concerts, plays, and musicals. In fact, they are celebrating their 100 years this year, so it's a great historic part of Logan culture that's still thriving to this day. They are about to start their ballet series of Cinderella, but they also host a number of different plays and concerts that changes year round. They also host all kinds of different art classes ranging from acting, painting, music, ceramics, and photography with classes for all age ranges. Definitely a fun place to check out if you live there or just passing through for a short stay. And number six is gonna be the Wind Caves Hike. 
Okay, so this is one of the caves that is just off of Logan Canyon. You can take a hike to the Wind Caves, a beautiful natural landmark that offers stunning views of the surrounding area. It's just a four mile out and back hike up to a dramatic viewpoint with arched rock formations. It is considered a moderate hiking trail and it takes an average of two hours and 16 minutes to complete. Just note that the trail conditions are dependent on weather conditions and alltrails.com does suggest that the best time to hike the trail is between March and November. And that's super typical here in Utah of hiking trails because of our crazy winters. Okay, and a must see if you're taking a vacation or a staycation is the Lo Logan Tabernacle. Visit the Logan Tabernacle, a historic building that has been used for religious and community events since the 1800s. The beautiful building is located right on Main Street and is open for walkthroughs during most of the summer. You can also check out downstairs where there is a working family history library and you can walk the huge grounds which are the most beautiful in the summertime. There are volunteers on site to answer any questions you might have about the history of the building. So if you're a history buff or you love architecture, this is a fun one to stop in and check out. And number eight is gonna be Zutah at Willow Park. This is another one that we did mention in our Logan vlog, and here you can see a variety of animals, including tigers, bears, and reptiles, at Zutah at Willow Park. It's a small zoo, and it's perfect for families. Zutah is home to over 40 different species of native and exotic animals, and they also do camps and classes and have special events and programs changing all the time at the zoo. They do a Halloween event and do lights at the zoo in December. General admission is $7 for adults, but you can also pay an extra $1.25 to feed the ducks. They also have a membership program and you can participate in the Trivia Night fundraiser and you can even sponsor an animal if you like. And if you are in the Logan area, you have got to take a walk or a bike ride along the Logan River Trail. It's a scenic path that follows the Logan River and provides stunning views of the surrounding mountains. The Logan River Trail, it's about 5.6 out and back trail that is considered an easy trail. It takes about two hours to complete on average, and this trail is popular for camping, fishing, and hiking, as well as biking and walking. It's a nice way to spend an afternoon hanging out by a river, so definitely worth stopping by if you're in Logan. All right, and coming at number 10 is to catch a play at the Old Lyric Repertory Company. It's a professional theater company that performs a variety of classic and contemporary works. This is a theater located at the Utah State University campus, and it's another fun one to visit if you like history, architecture, or just like to enjoy a play. They do have a list of what's featuring for the year, so you can definitely check it out if you're planning a, a future vacation. But take note, this is only a summer theater company, so shows are only done in June and July. Ticket prices vary based on the show, availability and seating, but are more affordable than big box office theaters, with many ticket prices starting at just $10. It's definitely affordable activity to check out if you do like theater. All right, guys, that wraps up the top 10 fun things to do here in Logan, Utah. Of course, that's just a small taste of all the amazing things Logan has to offer, and we will definitely be diving deeper and taking you along on some fun adventures in Logan in future videos. Picking where you'll call home is an important decision, and we would love to help you make that smooth transition to cities like Logan, Utah and surrounding areas. If you're looking to purchase in the Northern Utah area, we would love to help you out. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. And like always, we're keeping it real. Estate.